الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم على نبینا محمد و علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بیر حبت فی اللہ with the holy month of Ramadan steadily approaching one of the exalted forms of ibadah one of the great and greatest forms of ibadah that one can do is the dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal is remember to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often and from the ways in which we make dhikr is by reciting the Quran and the affair of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and making dhikr and dua is so well compensated by Allah, uh, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hereafter. Fi dunya wal akhira. Because in, the, in this life, it lightens your heart, it lightens your burdens to have the most exalted to turn to during your trials and tribulations. قال الله تعالى في كتابه الكريم وذاكرين الله كثيرا وذاكرات عد الله لهم مغفرة وعجر عظيمة الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتاب الكريم and those who remember Allah often from amongst the males and the females and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the dhakirina wa dhakirat you know those believing men who remember Allah they have this characteristic of believing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and getting this ajr azimah wa dhakirat and the believing women who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often addallahu lahum maghfiratan Allah has prepared for them forgiveness and a great reward, immense reward. Talib ibn Salah either wadhib ala athkar al ma'thura al muthbita sabahin wa masain fil awqat wal ahwal mukhtalifa laylan wa nahara. كَانَ مِنَ ذَاكِرِينَ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا وَذَاكِرَاتٍ Ibn Salah says about this verse He said if a person is consistent in those adhkar you know those dua, those supplications those ways of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that are mentioned and affirmed in the sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, in the night and during the day they're, they're being consistent with them and in all the various times and under all circumstances during the day and the night then they are from the dhakirin wa dhakirat and we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of the dhakirin wa dhakirat Imam Anawawi said Rahimahullah Ta'ala He said Al marad mina dhikr He said what is meant by making dhikr or remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Hudur al qalb Fayanbagi an yukun huwa maqsoor al dhakir Fayahris ala tahsilihi Wa tadabr ma yuthkar Wa yata'aqal ma'nahu فتدبر في ذكر مطلوب كما هو مطلوب في قراءة لاشتراكهما في معنى المقصود. إمام النووي رحمه الله تعالى said he said and what is meant by ذكر is or remembrance is that your heart is attentive. you know your heart is present. so it is a necessity. that the heart is present in order to achieve the purpose of dhikr, of remembering Allah. Then be vigilant in trying to attain it and reflect what you 
are making dhikr of, meaning what what you're mentioning, what you the 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 various duas and supplications, understand their meaning and be attentive in your heart, and understand the meaning, and reflect in the remembrance which is what is intended. And this is what is meant with regards to reciting the Qur'an as well. And that's due to their ishtiraki hima, that they both, uh, that they both are, are similar in, in making remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and reciting his verses. The Qur'an is a type of dhikr. So, the shahid, the purpose, is that we should be attentive in our du'as and our supplications to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you'll be rewarded for just mentioning them and remembering Allah often but what is truly intended is that you understand the meaning and you reflect and you contemplate and you put it into practice and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil